Steve McCurry is an American photojournalist who has received numerous awards for his work, including Magazine Photographer of the Year. He is best known for his 1984 photograph, Afghan Girl, which originally appeared in National Geographic magazine. After the photo originally gained such attention, McCurry began to try to locate the young girl to find out more of her story. Finally, 17 years after the picture was taken, McCurry located her, and her background and story has been shared throughout the world since. McCurry's interest in photography was sparked at Penn State, where he was an undergraduate student working on the school paper. McCurry sparked media attention in his career when he first disguised himself in Afghan garb and crossed the Pakistanian border into Afghanistan. He sewed rolls of film into his clothes to bring back the image, images, which then went on to be published in Time and New York Times. He continues to cover armed conflicts and frequently contributes to National Geographic. It is important to note that many of McCurry's images are not named and simply labeled with the location in which the images were taken. The first image taken in Peru is from McCurry's portrait series. The young boy is displaying great emotion. The photograph shows a deep contrast between the small blue portions on the wall, the boy's shirt, and the part of his eyes, and then the darker gray and black tones of the remaining image composition. The complex nature of the photograph draws you to the young boy's eyes and then to the gun. The viewer sees the juxtaposition of a young child and a violent gun and is immediately drawn to the powerfulness of the image. The second image, taken in Yemen, displays vivid color as well as thorough composition. The cropping of the image focuses on the young boy but also displays the elders near him who may be his caregivers. Their hands and even partial bodies still tell part of the story. The young boy expresses grave emotion and the crispness of the image provides a sense of understanding to his condition. The lighting of the phot photograph is bright yet still a bit dark, possibly as means to express the severity of the situation the young boy may be in. The third image, taken in Afghanistan of a mosque, first drew my attention to its strong focus on color. The mosque almost seems illuminated and the people around it are merely existing with no focus on their attention. The powerfulness of the focus on the mosque and the ability to display the building with such crisp focus provides the viewer with a unique perspective. The image is monochromatic with strong blue tones and subtle darker gray tones throughout. McCurry's photographs have provided a deep view into war for many who would otherwise not experience the consequences firsthand. His work focuses on the, t the toll war has on humans. McCurry stated, I want to try to convey what it is like to be that person, a person caught in a border landscape that could call the human condition.